Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm playing with the Juvia's Magic Palette. I know it's a little washed out by the light, but bear with me. I am filming in a different location right now. These are the colors in this palette, you guys. Aren't they gorgeous? And I used the blues to create this bold blue halo eye for you guys today. Now, as you can see, you can create a lot of different looks. Red, green, blue, purple. This palette has a lot to offer, so if you would like to see how I used it to create the look that I have on my eyes today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. So as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows and prepped my eyelids. And I'm starting out with this really, really light shade. It's the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm using that to highlight my brow bone. I'm not gonna try and pronounce the names in this palette, you guys, because I will probably butcher them. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just using this to highlight my brow bone today. Next, I wanna go ahead and start in on my crease. So I'm taking this gorgeous royal blue shade and placing that all in my crease and I'm just kind of blending it out as I place it down but I'm making sure to just kind of tap tap it in so that I can get that nice deep blue pigment and as you can see it's very very bold and it's blending quite nicely actually. So I'm just taking a clean brush and using that to just buff out those edges. I want a nice seamless transition into that highlighting shade. So it's just taking me a little bit of elbow grease but it is blending very very nicely. Now to start out this halo look I'm going in with this really, really dark blue satin type shade. It kind of almost looks a bit black, but it's a really deep blue satin shimmer. And I'm placing that on the inner and outer corner of my eyelid, just so that it will kind of be the border around my halo eye. And it's blending very nicely into that blue matte shade. Now to create the halo, I'm going in with this really bright light blue shimmer shade and I am spraying my brush with a little bit of setting spray today and just placing that all over the center of my lid. I really don't even think you have to spray your brush you guys, but I just went ahead and did it to make sure it popped really nicely. And as you can see, it's a very bright, beautiful light blue shimmer shade. Now I'm going back into that matte blue and I'm just using that to gently kind of blend out the edges of that shimmer shadow that I just placed down for my halo eye. I want a nice seamless transition for this look. Now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up some of that blue under my eyes. There wasn't a lot of fallout but I just want it nice and clean before I do my eyeliner. So now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner. You guys know I love this stuff. It is bold black. It dries down matte and it just looks really, really nice and very easy to use. Now I'm going back with that clean brush and just making sure those edges are blended out for that blue. Now I'm going to go ahead, come back with my foundation and concealer and powder done and we're going to finish up these eyes. So I'm going back into that same matte blue shade and using it to smoke out my lower lash line. As you guys can see, I'm not using a lot of different colors. I'm just really sticking to the blue theme for this eye look. Just keeping it nice and simple. And now to go ahead and add a pop of highlight in my inner corner. I'm using this really, really icy blue shade and just popping that in my inner corner. And I didn't even wet my brush, you guys. And do you see how bright that is? Absolutely gorgeous without a wet brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my Wet n Wild 
mega volume mascara and just use that as my mascara today. And I'm lining my lips with just a dark brown, kind of burgundy-ish lip liner. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Lorac Pro. And this is a matte lipstick, you guys, in the color Black Cherry. But as you can see, it goes on super shiny, but it is very, very matte when it dries. So this is the look, you guys. It was very, very simple and easy to create, even though it looks extremely bold and out there. Very easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.